some NBA action. GA, it's all yours. Kevin, thanks so much. Kyle Lowry remains all hustle. Wow, David, he is a gamer, no doubt. DA, we appreciate the report. Now let's take a look at Denver's opening lineup. Murray and Caldwell Pope, the guards. The forward spots will be Porter Jr. and Gordon. And it's Jokic in at the five. And for the Raptors, Kyle Lowry and Danny Green are the guard tandem. Siakam is out there with Jonas Valanciunas. And it's Leonard in at the three spot. Clark, the focus tonight has to be on the front court matchup. It figures to be a battle of big men down low. Well, you know, Kevin, no question about it. These are two very talented teams in the post. I mean, each used to owning the advantage in the paint, and I'm very interested to see the chess match inside tonight. And Will Pope with a wide open look and the three off target. And here's Lowry. He'll bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. They kick it out to Green. Offensive rebound. Valanciunas, good. And one way Valanciunas generates offense, using that big body to snare the board and keep the play alive. Now here's Murray. Jokic high post. Valanciunas is there. And stolen by Siakam. Here's Lowry. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That is first. It's going to be on Jamal Murray. You can just see and feel the passion behind the play of Kyle Lowry. It's like he's always got something to prove every time he's out there, and that energy is contagious. It spreads to his guys as well. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He misses the free throw. The Raptors are only a few years removed from its championship in 2019. Boy, a lot has changed since then. And the second free throw, good. A lot of change. Toronto is without some of the key pieces from that title team, and it wasn't that long ago. But, Greg, they haven't had to go through a full rebuild. There are some remaining parts. Listen, the talent they have is still undeniable, and they've got a good mix of young up-and-coming players in the prime of their career. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Terrific form at the line throughout last season. 89% on the year. Yeah, that's a great asset to have, guys. For any team, coming down the stretch in close games, You've got a guy who's confident and very good at the line. When he steps up there, you feel good about him. Man, and such a young, exciting core for the Nuggets. The MVP, Jokic, Michael Porter Jr., and Jamal Murray. This group has a chance to be a contender for years to come. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. You know what, guys, honestly, I didn't think he'd win that battle. I mean, that's a lot of height to give up. Here's Murray after the made shot from Kyle Lowry. Over Lowry, Murray, good. In the mid-range, Murray can really make it happen now. He's just that versatile a scorer. With Jokic, I mean, the potential, Greg, of this Denver team, they've got so much of it. But what is the key for them to actually reach it? Kevin simply health. I mean, they need Murray and MPJ to be out there. Those two have had major injury issues. Jokic is a generational talent, but the man needs help. Now here's Murray. Makes it off the glass. Hey, Murray's reputation and profile is, is that of a score. I mean, that's what he is, but he's also showing you that he's not afraid to get his hands dirty either. Murray against Lowry. Outside Green. That's in, coming off an assist from Lowry. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Nuggets have gone two for four from the field so far today. Lowry against Murray. And Jokic wide open. He shoots. Tried to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. Right side Lowry. Pass to Valanciunas. Over Murray. No good from Valanciunas. Nuggets trail. 
Caldwell Pope outside. Good work defensively by Lowry. You know, you don't always get that opportunity, so those are the ones you hate to miss. Kept alive, Siakam. Gordon with the defensive effort. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Look, this package that Jokic has, instinct, length, timing, you don't have to jump really high if you've got those things working for you to be effective as a rebound. Now here is Lowry. And the pass to Valanciunas. Over Jokic. And it's Valanciunas that time on the assist by Lowry. And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for the Denver Nuggets. Trailing by two. Kicks it to Caldwell Pope. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Beyond the leaning, you can see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. To the paint. Here's Leonard and Kawhi Leonard with the slam. And the all-around game of Siakam, so adept at working the ball to open guys. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Moving screen, Raptors ball. Raptors leading by four. Lowry passes to Valanciunas. Passes it to Green. Out of bounds. Denver takes possession. Murray outside. Outside Porter. Pass to Jokic. Six on the shot clock. And another miss by Denver. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Lowry's shot is good. You got to give it up for Lowry's toughness. He's got that scorer's mentality. Some contact won't stop him from converting. Timeout is called first of the game for the Nuggets. And you watch the way that Siakam plays. It can get you in the open court or in half court sets. Great forward who gives you a little bit of everything. Outside Gordon. Caldwell Pope on the wing from downtown. Knocks down the three ball. Caldwell Pope's got five now. And for Siakam, great. He almost epitomizes the modern forward. And that's not to say he's the best forward, but he displays all the skills you now expect from that position. Solid player who any team would love to have. You know, with his level of quickness, it's tough to keep up defensively. Here's Caldwell Pope, and it's Toronto with the rebound. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the beat. Here's Leonard. And it's Jokic with the rebound. The Nuggets trail by five. Porter with it. Leonard picks him up. And that one's good by Porter Jr. Sweet move by Porter Jr. We're getting around the contact and finding the hoop. So timeout called here. The first for the Raptors. A Clark one step where Jokic is consistently dominant. Of course, his rebound. Well, he does everything well, but you're right. Season after season, game after game, Kevin. He is eating that glass. He stays near the top of that particular statistic. And he knows games are won and lost on the boards, and he wants to be able to contribute in that way. But he is a brilliant, brilliant player, not just a rebound. And Toronto making a change here. Ibaka is checked in. Here's Leonard. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Oh, it's not easy trying to guard Leonard inside. I can tell you that, guys. I mean, he's so good at using his body to get shots up over the defense. Outside for Jackson. Another three for Denver. Really good job there. That's the definition of the inside-out game. Bounce pass from Lowry. Ibaka finds Lowry. Siakam up top. 
Jokic defending. The nine foot shot. And Siakam with the nice bucket inside. And the Raptors lead by four. It's important that Siakam plays with confidence from there. I mean, when he does, the results are often like that one. Austin Murray. Here's Jokic. Lays it up and banks it in. Jokic has got his second bucket. That's exactly what you want the offense to produce. A high percentage look for Jokic. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. Brown kicks to Jackson. And stolen by Kyle Lowry. And the foul on Jamal Murray. That'll be his second foul of the game. Some changes for Toronto. Chris Boucher is checked in for Siakam. OG and Nobi comes in for Leonard. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Danny Green. OG and Nobi. Fred Van Vliet. passes to Lowry. Ibaka outside. Not loose. Jokic with it. He's picked up by Ananobi. Left side Jackson. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Well, this Denver team used to run a lot, but over the last few seasons, they've significantly slowed down their pace. And the Nuggets start playing slower, more half-court basketball. Why? Well, I think it suits the game of multi-time MVP Nikola Jokic. I mean, the Joker is a maestro in the post and on the perimeter as a passer and scorer. So he dissects opposing defenses from anywhere on the court. And the staff has adjusted how they play to fit Joker's skill set. That's a smart move. Greg, when you look at Toronto, they have a lot of length and defensive switchability. They swarm opposing stars and tend to make it very difficult in those passing lanes. So a great profile for a modern NBA defense. Here's what Toronto's going with right now. Kawhi Leonard is checked in for Chris Boucher. And Norman Powell subbed in for Kyle Lowry. And Jackson certainly doesn't lack confidence. A speedy guard who can fill it up in no time. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Now here's Jackson. That one doesn't drop. Toronto leading by three. Van Vliet passes to Leonard. Basket good. Eight points for Leonard. Not afraid to get physical there. Leonard makes the shot in spite of the contact. And the official signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. Chris Boucher is checked in for the Raptors. Frank, everything they're doing is working right now. Good run they have going right now. The momentum is huge. Powell kicks to Boucher. And the Raptors hit again from deep. It works well there. Not much resistance from the deep. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Here's Jokic. To halt the run. And Jokic slams it in. Well, you got to do more than that to stop Jokic. I mean, this guy is a master at converting through tough defense. Van Vliet outside. Now the pass to on and open. This is that one. He's 0 for 1 from the floor. The Nuggets trail by six. The dish now to Jackson. Two minutes left in the first. Two minutes. Just five on the clock. It's tipped. Here's Van Vliet. 
He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Foul. That's good. Time out, time out. Able to get to the hoop with those nice handles, leading to an easy finish. Denver, Denver calls timeout. I think it's pretty clear, Greg, what the goal is for this Denver organization long term. It, it's simple, Kevin. Make it to the finals. The Nuggets have never been there. They've been close, reaching a conference finals on more than one occasion. A different look for Denver. Green comes in for Jokic. And Porter subbed in for Jamal Murray. Here's Jackson, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And we all know how crafty RJ is. When he can stay healthy, he can lead a team at least in spurts. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Raptors. I, I like how they've worked the ball inside, getting looks closer in there, and that really helps your offense. You know, something else they've done really, really well, and I know the analytics don't support it, but they've made the most out of their mid-range jumper opportunities. All free throws good from Jackson. Toronto leading by six. To the wing right side. Baca against Green. They get it back. Denver's gone two of five from three-point land here in the first quarter. Here's Jackson. That one dropped for his second bucket. Mark him two for four. And good to see Jackson finish closer in. Not a guard who just chucks up threes can find the creases with that handle. Now here's Van Vliet. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Can't hit the turnaround jumper. It's stolen by Ibaka. Here's Powell. And the layup's good off the glass. And the Raptors lead by six. That was just a perfect possession. Getting it in tight for the high percentage shot. We've got 33 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Jackson. The second chance effort. Great D that time from Powell. And so Powell will bring it up for Toronto. Stolen by Jackson. And he converts the layup. Jackson's got 10 points in the game. And with the defender draped all over him, Jackson has that strength to fight through the contest. Kawhi Leonard has been on display for Toronto. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And we'll be right back after this. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And what do you guys think about the Raptors here so far in this one? Well, in that first quarter, they, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. Yeah, and it's worked. They've got a clear edge and points in the paint. Now we'll see if they go with a more balanced attack or just keep on pounding it inside. The Nuggets trail by four. On the floor for Denver as we get going here in the second quarter. They've got Porter. Green is out there with Bruce Brown. Then there's Reggie Jackson. Can't give Jackson any airspace from there because he's going to make you pay. Here's on an open, following the score by Reggie Jackson. Ibaka, the pass to on an open. And in the last decade, defenses switching on screens has increased dramatically. Is this the new normal, you think? Kevin, I think so. I think. That's teams that switch well Raptors. tend to defend well. Because oh, switching and can create mismatches, but it's harder to punish those now with all the help defense. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good for Mananobi.
All free throws, good from Ananobi. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. Jackson passes to Green. Porter with it. Outside Jackson. Just five to shoot. Brown right through the D Blue for the Green. layup. You know, the screen wasn't that great, but still he got it done. Excellent concentration on the hard finish. Van Vliet passes to on an open. And here is Ibaka. It's stolen by Green. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. Raptors with the lead. Here's Ananobi. It's hauled in by Michael Porter. For Denver, they've gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. And the rejection by Ibaka. Just insane length and leaping ability. Ibaka can reject shots from anywhere on the floor. And that rejection had some mustard on it. Huge, huge play. And in a close game, Blocks like that are so clutch, and that could be a real difference maker here tonight. Ananobi against Porter. Outside Jackson. Shot clock at six. Braun, covered by Van Vliet. No good from outside. Got the defender off his feet with the pump fake, but couldn't knock it down. Passes it to Ananobi. Fades and shoots. He can't get that one to fall. And it's Denver the other way. Greg, looking at the shooting numbers of Michael Porter Jr., they're off the charts. I mean, his first full year in the league, Porter Jr. was top 20 in field goal percentage. Top 10 and three point percentage. Incredible numbers for a 6 10 wing. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Now, Michael Porter Jr. was a top prospect in his high school class, but his back injury has presented a constant challenge. He says, It changed my perspective. I'm just going to get up every day and try to be better than I was the day before. If I'm giving my best every day, then I'm good. Back to you guys. Well, you hope he stays healthy. That has been a concern. Thanks, David. And he sinks the second. And so Powell will bring it up for Toronto. He kicks it to Ibaka. Oh, good on the three. The Nuggets trail. Outside Jackson. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. And another for Jackson. A streaky score, but when he gets hot, watch out. And an OB in the corner. And he's good on the three ball. Ananobi's got five. He just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. Order number two, around three minutes gone by. Brown, good. Boy, good vision that time from Michael Porter Jr. Saw the wide open teammate and then got the pass to him right on time. And the Raptors call time here.
check in for Serge Ibaka. Here's Van Vliet. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Siakam against Brown. Six to shoot. And again, no good by Toronto. The Nuggets have gone four of seven from the field in this second quarter so far. Jackson passes to Green. And Steve from Valanciunas. Toronto's gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. It's stolen by Brown. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Ananobi against Jackson. And that's a foul. It's called on Reggie Jackson. That's his first foul. Yeah, really first, good first defensive foul. play to cut him off first, there and square down. up. Excellent example of toughness and physicality on defense. Got his nose right in the middle of things and made a play. Now here's Paul. Van Vliet outside. Pass to Siakam. Shoots over Brown. Valanciunas. And stay with the play. Valanciunas. And the Raptors lead by two. You know, we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. with some changes. Green comes in for Norman Powell, and it's Kyle Lowry in for Fred Van Vliet. And here is Murray, and Jokic slams it in. With maturity comes greater patience, understanding how to play smarter. Murray keeps his options open and finds a teammate who's gotten free. Lowry gets hauled in by the Nuggets. Getting nice and creative with the crossover. Unfortunately, he couldn't capitalize. Kept alive. The second effort. Misses at the rim. And so Siakam will bring it up for Toronto. Lowry passes to Siakam. Denver grabs the miss. Jokic has got seven rebounds in the game. And the dunk by Brown. Boy, the passing ability of Jokic is really something. I mean, he's proven to be quite the capable playmaker. Now, here's Lowry. He has seven. Fires from deep. And it's Valanciunas that time on the assist by Lowry. Valanciunas has got nine. Six changes of the lead here. Yeah, both teams still kind of feeling their way through this game. It's stolen by Lowry. Last break. Here come the Raptors. It's rebounded by Jamal Murray. The Nuggets have gone 6 of 12 in the second quarter, right at the 50% mark from the field. And it's good, two points. And a smooth jump shot from the veteran Green there. These are looks he nails consistently. Lowry passes to Valanciunas. Over Jokic. No good from Valanciunas. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. And the foul called on Danny Green. That's his first foul. And the Raptors making a change here. Leonard's checked in. Denver with the ball. Pass to Jokic. Outside, Green. Shot clock at five for three. Caldwell Pope drills it from outside. Caldwell Pope's got the lead up to four now for Denver. Lowry kicks to Siakam. Leonard on the wing. Headed by Green. And that one's good. Leonard. And we've seen Leonard's ball handling improve over the years, especially in the pick and roll where he has grown to be very effective. Jokic passes to Murray. Good, and the assist goes to Jokic. Seven points in the game. He does not lack for confidence. He shouldn't. I mean, this guy is a dangerous scorer. And there's the pass to Siakam. Shoots over Brown. Good on that shot. And with that, the Nugget lead is cut down now to just three on the bucket from Siakam. 
Brown feeling it out a bit. Here's Murray. The shot misses. Toronto's gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three-point tonight. Four of seven shooting. This is it to Valanciunas. Now Lowry. Over Caldwell Pope. Lowry can't get it to go. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Allen's position, you could see the frustration on his face. So quick on these drives, as quick as a hiccup. Can't let him, Caldwell Pope, get into the lane like this. Now, here's Lowry. Seven points in the game. Jokic passes to Brown. Another shot. He lays it in. Bruce Brown. Now it's a seven-point Denver lead. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for Denver. They're just a great job so far applying pressure defensively. The opposition is on their heels with the ball in their hand. Nightmares clamps thus far. And I think we've also got to talk about the tempo they played with right from the get-go. I mean, they've been deadly in transition, too. The shot by Lowry, no good. Look at him, and he's a little hit and miss from there, even without a defender in his face. No guarantee. Murray, no good. Toronto's gone two or three when they've stepped beyond the arc in the second quarter. Outside Leonard. Here's Siaka. And all around the rim that time before dropping in. And that's now six points for Siakam. And with the 15th pick in the 2011 draft, Kawhi Leonard wasn't highly touted coming out of high school or college. Uh, listen, even in the pros, recognition took a while. How about this? He won finals MVP and defensive player of the year before he ever made an all-star team. And now, one of the 75 greatest. Clearly, wow. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. The Nuggets have gone six of eight from the free throw line tonight. Shooting for Denver. Bruce Brown at the line for two. He's off on the first. And the Raptors with some changes. Serge Ibaka, he's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. And OG Ananobi subbed in for Pascal Siakam. And then for Denver, DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Jokic. Aaron Gordon comes in for Jeff Green. And Smith subbed in for Jamal Murray. He hits the second from the line. Raptors trail by six. Toronto calls timeout. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell him simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. has checked in for DeAndre Jordan. Porter comes in for Bruce Brown. And Murray subbed in for Smith. Here's Green. Here's Leonard. And that one hits back iron. Denver leading by six. At the elbow, Jokic. 
Jokic in shot. He takes it up and lays it in. Jokic has got four points this quarter. This is a big guy, a mountain of a man. I mean, Jokic is a sturdy, thick 284. He's going to take a bigger bump to disrupt his shot than that. I don't know, B. No good. Boy, you've really got to put those away, especially against soft interior defense. Porter dishes to Caldwell Pope. Now, Jokic, he's got 10. Like at six. There's Porter with the three. That's in. Coming off the assist from Jokic. Porter's got the lead up to 11 now for Denver. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. On the wing, Ananobi. It drops for his second main shot of this game. An unimpressive two of seven, though. Oh, great feed by Lowry. He'd rather pick up an assist than score a bucket. Porter against Leonard at the elbow, Murray. Dishes it to Caldwell Pope. Well, now gets need to get a shot off here. And the foul called on Danny Green. That'll be his second foul of the game. Man, that's, it's close, but, you know, didn't get on balance quick enough. Yeah, and as quick as players are at this level, in this day and age, I mean, you've got to be perfect in your anticipation to draw the charge. Murray knocks down the step back, Jay. Murray's got nine. Cannot let Murray get comfortable with that jump shot, guys. I mean, his stroke is as pure as it gets. Pass to Ibaka. There's 31 seconds left in the second quarter. Here's Leonard. Nails it from the high post. Leonard's got four points now in the quarter. And part of what makes Kawhi such a great player is that jump shot. You can't just worry about him attacking the basket. Now here's Murray. He's got nine. Pass to Jokic. Over Ibaka. And we finish one half of basketball. Nuggets lead by nine. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks a lot, guys. With Mike Malone, as the second half approaches, Coach, what are you looking for? Execution, pace and purpose with everything that we do, uh, and making sure that when we call a set, we know what we're trying to accomplish and get the ball to where our players can be effective. We'll see if they can fix that in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Back to you. Thank you, David, for that interview, and we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Reggie Jackson is having one of those nights. He had 14 points and one rebound. Shaq, let's get your take on Denver. They wouldn't be ahead without the numbers they've gotten from the bench, providing major contributions, especially at the offensive end. It's taking a lot of pressure off the starters. What a luxury to have a second unit that can produce. Looking at Toronto, Shaq, your thoughts? Shaq, was anyone boxing out? I mean, if they didn't box you out like this, you'd have 50 just on offensive rebound. I mean, they got to put bodies on bodies or fundamentals. And that's a wrap for our halftime show. The third quarter just about to get started. If you're just joining us in this one, the first half is in the books. One half to go. Reggie Jackson has been sensational. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Body him up. Be physical with him. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Kyle Lowry and Danny Green are the guards in. Kawhi Leonard is out there with Pascal Siakam. 
and it's Valanciunas, and it's the pivot spot, Manning the middle. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. Boy, the defense has to respect Murray's range. I mean, there's a reason he's a volume three-point shooter. Leonard on the wing, guarded by Porter. Jokic against Valanciunas. Lowry inside the line. They grabbed their own miss. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on it. Jokic with it. Now guarded by Siakam. And the basket is good. All well, folks, got 12 in the game. Hey, the form, the release, everything in sync and lined up. Fun watching Caldwell Pope shoot the ball like this. The pass to Valanciunas. Outside Lowry. Leonard looking over the floor. That one's off. Still out of sync. And so it's Jokic with it. He brings it up for Denver. 16-point lead, the largest margin in the game. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got three assists now in this one. Talk about execution on the offensive end. They're leaving nothing on the table right now. Yep, they're starting to stretch this lead out. Too much offense to keep pace with. Now, here's Lowry. Seven points in the game. Green finds Lowry. Back to Green. Over Caldwell Pope. Green, no luck. The Nuggets leading by 18. To the inside. Uses both hands to slam it down. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Time out, time out. Don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. Toronto calls timeout. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. And the Raptors miss again. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. And, you know, they've got to be careful. because This is when the team concept breaks down and guys start playing hero ball. Now here's Green after the miss from Contavious Caldwell Pope. Can they get it? Second shot opportunity. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. When Green's on the court, you can't lose him because he's just too dangerous as a shooter. For Toronto, they have shot 75% of the line tonight going three for four. And going back a season ago, they were a pretty average team at the line, about 76% altogether. And, you know, whenever they get into a stretch where it looked like maybe they would turn it around at the line, they would immediately take a step back. Free throw drops for Green. And one thing you can say about Green, I don't know of too many players who are as dependent on their three-point shot as he is. He needs that shot to be falling for him to make an impact.
Both free throws good from Green. Denver leading by 18. Murray the pass to Porter. Third quarter here and three minutes have come off the clock. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. That's his second. And you know, when you foul Porter Jr., you better foul him like you mean it. Or it'll be an and one, just That's like it was there. The He's getting his first free throw Michael attempt of the game here. One shot. One shot. Free throw good, Porter. And you know, when Porter Jr. is healthy, I mean, he's got a lot of game. This guy is versatile, he's got good size. He's a multi-dimensional talent. Now here's Leonard. He's got 12. And again, no good by Toronto. And you know, the defense to me looked like they were okay to let him prove he could make that shot. A shot by Caldwell Pope, no good. Raptors trailed by 21. The eight footer, and it's Leonard missing. Here's the Nuggets with the ball. A 14-2 run over the last bit. Murray again, Flower. And Valanciunas pulls it down. Valanciunas has got six rebounds now in the game. Pass to Siakam. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's going to be on Aaron Gordon. I'm just so impressed with Siakam's offensive improvement over the years. I mean, he's mastering the ability to play in attack mode. Two shots. Throw good, Siakam. Siakam hits them both. And so here's Denver. Just four points. That's all they've given up here in the second half. Murray against Flower. Here's Caldwell Pope. He's got 14 over Green. And again, Denver no good. Here's Leonard. Lays it up off the glass. Leonard's got 14 points for the game. Talk about someone who knows all the angles. Kawhi time out, time on out. the interior. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. We know that you want a free future, so let's get that. in for Denver. Jackson comes in for Porter. Hey, yo, yo, right here, right here. 
Green inside, guarded by Valanciunas, and Green gets it to go. Green's got his second bucket of the game to go. Murray against Lowry. Green kicks to Lowry. Back to Green. Five to shoot. Over Caldwell Pope, and it's Green missing. Denver leading by 19. Caldwell Pope passes to Jackson. Pass to Murray. Outside Jackson. Shoots over Leonard. Jackson misses. And so Green will bring it up for the Raptors. Pass to Leonard. And finished off by Leonard. Yeah, they call him dancing Danny Green, and you can see why. Excellent offensive instincts there. Nuggets have gone 7 of 12 from the floor since coming out of the break. The pass to Green. Over Siakam. And it falls Jeff over the Green. rim and in. Green's got seven. Raptors trailed by 19. Lowry kicks to Valanciunas. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. And guys, See, point of emphasis way. for the league is, is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few yeah, years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows or they'll call it. Here's what Denver's going with right now. Jordan's checked in for Jokic. And it's Bruce Brown in for Contavious Caldwell Pope. And the dunk by Brown. By the ball distribution was there. I mean, outstanding work all the way around. Murray against Lowry. Inside, Jordan with the steal. Murray for three. He shoots again, count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. And now we'll get perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the Nuggets. I like the fact that they've been very aggressive at the defensive end, tenacious. They're jumping passing lanes and coming away with a lot of steals. And another place they're finding success is in transition. They've been working hard to get ahead of the defense and find those easy ones. Serge Ibaka has checked in for the Raptors. And the Raptors with the ball. Lowry with the ball. He's got seven. To end the run, trying to get open is Ibaka. Murray with the defensive effort. And there's the call on Kyle Lowry. That's his second. That'll be his second foul of the game. Third team foul. Denver's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Murray, the pass to Jordan. Back to Murray. And it's Murray with the jam. Well, you don't like to see Murray get on this kind of a roll if you're defending him now because he's creative. And once he gets going, it's hard to slow him down. Now, here's Siakam. Eight points for him. Good on the bucket. Siakam's got four points this quarter. He knew what he wanted to do all along. The teardrop. And here is Murray. It's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. Norman Powell checked in for the Raptors. Norman Powell. Lowry against Murray. Oh, Leonard in position. He doesn't hit that one. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. And you know, guys, always a tough catch on the lob. Placement and timing have to be close to perfect. Now, here's Leonard. After the miss from Reggie Jackson, count it. 12 points for Siakam. Rise and fires. This is Siakam's attitude off the catch. And with these results, you understand why. Here's Jackson. No good. Empty that time from Leonard. Right wing, Ibaka finds Leonard. 
step back shot. Denver grabs the miss. Brown's got six rebounds here tonight. Good D by Siakam. Toronto's got fewer than half of their three pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Here's Powell, and he uses the glass on the way. Powell's got six. And, and it's a great piece of work to get to the hoop there. Just tore the D to shreds. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Fearless against the contact. Jordan ignores the foul. Just plays through it and focuses on trying to get the shot. The Nuggets have been shooting right around 75% of the line. 9 of 12 so far. Taking two shots. Free throw, no good. You know, at this stage of his career, Jordan not only knows his role, but thoroughly and fully embraces it. He's out there to provide energy and hustle on defense and on the glass. Fred Van Vliet is checked in for Kyle Lowry. That's off as well, so he misses both. Raptors trailed by 20. Here's Powell, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's his third personal foul. The Raptors have been good at the free throw line in this one, seven of eight. At the line for your Raptors, Norman Powell at the line for two. No good on the free throw. And he's good on the second. The Nuggets leading by 19. Braun, covered by Van Vliet. Right side, Jordan. And he banks in the lane. Jordan, very efficient in the paint because of his length. Close to the bucket, he's hard to deal with. Siakam inside. Working on Green. Shots good by Siakam. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. Now, here is Jordan. Murray, no good. Raptors trailed by 19. Now here's Paul. Seven points in the game. Siakam outside. Passes to Ibaka. Six to shoot. Powell for three. Hits the three-point bomb. Powell's got ten points in the game. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. Pass to Jordan. Murray with it. Braun. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Here's Toronto now. They've got a 12-2 run in progress. It's stolen by Green. Braun covered by Van Vliet. Now Murray. He's got 16. Over Siakam. Makes good on the step back jumper. Murray's got nine points here in the second half. And even with the big lead, he remains focused on the task at hand. Yeah, and you know, that is some shaky and shoddy defensive work. They've got to tighten it up. Now here's Powell. Ten points for him. Obaka finds Van Vliet. A three-pointer off the mark. The Nuggets leading by 18. 
Here's Murray. The rebound by Ibaka. Ibaka's got rebound number five here tonight. Five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. That may not be his first choice, but Kawhi's not going to pass it up if it's there for him. Good decision to take the quick jumper off the catch. Here's Murray. Rebound by the Raptors. Van Vliet left side. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. For Toronto, they have shot 8 of 10 from the line. That's an even 80% free throw shooting here. Taking two shots. And he knocks down the first one. So both teams changing it up here. He's perfect from the line this time. Six seconds left in the third quarter. Jackson, that's a two-pointer. No good there. And so it's the Denver Nuggets with a 14-point lead as we bring the quarter to a close. Their transition game has been in full effect. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard putting the pass right on the money. Terrific versatility coming from a big man. Not something that the majority of big guys possess. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. And Denver will start the fourth quarter with. Jokic is up there with Brown. Then there's Reggie Jackson. Then it's Porter. And Ibaka slams it in. And the slithery agility of Ibaka. Not many guys can go up with him to stop the catch and dunk. From deep, Jokic. That's good. It's his seventh made basket in 14 tries. He's just stretching him out. The defense has got to do a better job of staying attached to him. Yeah, especially with the score being what it is. I mean, you've got to tighten it up on D. And it's Valanciunas finishing it off. And great find by Van Vliet. He's in control of this offense and generally makes good decisions. Pass to Jokic. Down low. It's stolen by Ibaka. Van Vliet looking around. The pass to on an open. Alan Junis with the ball. Van Vliet outside. Toronto needs to get off a shot. Abaka for three. Offensive rebound. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his first free throw. Even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. No question about it. Got a ton of contact Raptors. and a good call by the official. Two shots. That's good for Mananobi. Both free throws good from Ananobi. 
Here's Brown. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. Left side, Porter. On the wing, Jackson. And the officials call him for a three-second three violation. violation. And the Raptors with some changes. Chris Boucher is checked in for a bucket. Green comes in for Leonard. And it's Kyle Lowry in for Fred Van Vliet. Kyle Lowry. Passes it to Juana Nope. on the clock and here's Green outside bangs home the trifecta Green's got it back down to single digits for the Raptors and Green is a world-class sniper laser an excellent shooter great at getting his puppy set on these shots from deep quarter no good they had a chance to end the run there the Raptors have gone three or four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth and Anobi finds Lowry And the call up against Jokic. That's foul number two for him. Kawhi Leonard, he's checked in for Ananobi. The Nuggets also changing it up. Is Smith comes in for Brown. And it's Caldwell Pope in for Reggie Jackson. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Count that bucket. Well, they left it until the fourth quarter, but finally the run they needed to get back into this. I didn't think it was going to happen for them, quite honestly, but they finally turned it on, turned it up a little bit. Now they've got to come up with some stops. Here is Porter after the made shot from Kyle Lowry. Yep, it counts. And that's Porter Jr. who shows nice follow through on the shot, even through the contact. Shooting for Denver, Michael Porter Jr. Shooting one. Throw good, Porter. Here's Lowry. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Here's Leonard. Get some room on the way in, and the bucket's good. And that's now 20 points for Kawhi Leonard. And so it's Smith with it. He'll bring it up for Denver. They lead by seven. Pass to Jokic. Caldwell Pope kicks to Smith. To the wing on the left. Down to five on the shot clock. And there's another one for the Nuggets. You know, Jokic is a solid shooter from the mid-range, and he doesn't need that much space to get his shot off because of his size and high release point. Now here's Green. Pass to Valanciunas. He dishes it to Lowry. And the Raptors hit again from deep. Can't let Lowry get comfortable from beyond the arc because he's more than capable of hurting you from there. Caldwell Pope against Green. Ron. Boucher with the rebound. Raptors trailed by six to the paint. And finished off by Leonard. Boy, a wicked dunk by Leonard, showing this defense just how explosive he can be. Denver's gone downtown 13 times in this game, and they're just over 50%. 7 of 13 on threes. Here's Smith. The kick out to Porter. Back to Smith. Good, and a nice assist from Porter. Smith's got his first pass. And, you know, whenever Smith gets that close to the bucket, he 
he's sharp in how he finishes these chances. I mean, he's got a lot of different ways to get that ball up and down. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. And you know, guys, always a tough catch on the lob. Placement and timing have to be close to perfect. Yeah, but I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Hey, they've got a nice, comfortable lead here, fellas. Might as well keep it simple. Do it a plain, simple one-hander, just like pound cake. And so here's Denver after the made shot from Jonas Valanciunas. Green against Caldwell Pope. Back to Jokic. He gets it in there. Jokic just got 19 points. It takes body control, concentration, and skill to score against that kind of defense. Jokic doing a really nice job inside. Now here's Leonard. Over quarter. Leonard no luck. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look. But when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. Nice job hitting him right in stride. Excellent play. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. And trying to extend this lead, no better way than playing north and south, getting after it. Green kicks to Leonard. Four on the shot clock. Over quarter. Shot is good, and the Nugget lead is cut down now to just eight on the basket from Leonard. Well, they've been running the offense through Leonard all night, and why not? The pass to Caldwell Pope. Smith inside, Boucher defending. Boy, and the intelligence of Smith. Really cool to see him get the defense to come into him when he's going up for a shot. At the line for the Nuggets. Ish, Smith, two shots. First one falls. Boy, and at only six feet tall, Smith uses that blazing speed of his to keep defenses off balance. Good luck trying to stay in front of him. Here's what Toronto's going with right now. Serge Ibaka has checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Pascal Siakam comes in for Chris Boucher. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Green. And Denver with a change here, too. Gordon's checked in. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. Smith against Leonard. Siakam outside. Off target with his three. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Near the three-point line, it's Porter. They get it again. Jokic. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. Boy, I so enjoy watching Jokic play. I'm mean, really enjoying him tonight, scoring a bunch of points and his offensive game is just a beautiful thing to behold. Here's Siakam. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's his fourth. It's going to be on Aaron Gordon. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message they were sending with that foul. Nothing easy inside. First one falls for him. for the Nuggets. Brown is checked in for Michael Porter, and Murray subbed in for Smith. Hey, 
Siakam hits them both. The Nuggets leading by nine. Murray with it. No good on the shot. Good work defensively by Lowry. Siakam, right side. And Siakam throws it down. And the handles and confidence of Siakam both have grown just so much. Zero hesitation with taking that one to the rack. Now here's Murray. Kicks to Brown. Here's Jokic. That shot, no good. So the Raptors will take it the other way. Leonard, the pass to Siakam. From the line. Rebound by the Nuggets. Out to the right wing. And stolen by Kyle Lowry. At the elbow, it's Siakam. Gordon with the defensive effort. And it's Gordon with the ball. He brings it up for Denver. Seven-point differential. Good work there as it goes. 16 points for Contavious Caldwell-Pope. Toronto's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Baca against Jokic. Baca right side. Outside Leonard. Trying to get open is Baca. And again, Toronto no up. The Nuggets leading by nine. Caldwell Pope outside. He's looking for Gordon and finds him. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. And Gordon taking advantage of the fact that when he gets up in the air like that, nobody's interested in getting in his way. Leonard against Brown. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. For Toronto. Kawhi Leonard at the line for two. And he can't get the first one. A, a superstar who, who really kind of keeps to himself. Leonard truly leads by example in its produced titles. And he sinks the second. Denver leading by 10. Murray outside. Passes it to Jokic. That shot off the mark. The bucket is a nice deep. Here's Lowry. And a lot of contact on that one. So he'll shoot two here. It's going to be on Jamal Murray. Oh, such a crafty player. Lowry excels at using his body to draw contact. For your Raptors. Kyle Lowry. Two shots. Good on the first, and that brings them within single digits. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Time call here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. They're up by eight. We've got 155 left here in the fourth quarter. It's time for your doorstep crew. Come on, everyone. Give it up for the man. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Nikola Jokic. And guys, this really has been his night. He's done a lot of things well, but his scoring really put him over the top. You can see how determined he's been every time he's gotten his hands on the ball. Great drive and also great focus offensively. 
He's really seemed to feed off the hostile environment he's been faced with tonight. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Alder. David? Thanks, Kevin. Well, Mike Malone had some words for his team during the break. His point to them was that they put themselves in the position to succeed and that this is their game to lose. So he needs to see full concentration out of every guy on the court to finish this one off. Kevin? All right, David, thanks. Here's Lowry following the score by Jamal Murray. A shot by Lowry, no good. One fifteen left to play here in the fourth. Murray kicks to Caldwell Pope. Outside Gordon. Shot clock at five. Caldwell Pope against Van Vliet. A shot by Caldwell Pope, no good. Van Vliet passes to Siakam. Over Gordon. And Siakam gets it to go on the assist from Van Vliet. And Siakam always has options in the mid-range. He's a talented shooter who can make that shot. And they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. Yep, to have a stress-free win on the road, very satisfying. The fans are already headed for the exit. I'm glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. He's been a huge factor in this game, and drives like that show how valuable he is on the floor. Pass to Jokic. A shot off that time. Ibaka with some nice D. Not enough ticks left on the clock to save him tonight. Not by a long shot. It's all but official. Sinks the triple. He, he's been in so many big games and clutch situations. Lowry thrives in pressure moments like this. And he commits the intentional foul. That's his first personal foul. Seven seconds left to play in the final quarter. And so they choose to intentionally foul. That's his third personal foul. It's the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And, you know, you look at the evolution of Murray, and it's exciting to watch, quite honestly. He's a combo guard. He's got great range and scoring ability, but I like the way he's developing as a playmaker, too. And the Raptors call time here. They're trailing by eight. Six seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys are thoughts. And I don't think they'll be able to climb out of this hole. You know, maybe working on their 60-second drill, even if it doesn't pay off tonight, maybe for the future. Buries it from outside. That championship mentality of Leonard. This is why they go to him in the clutch. So the Nuggets win it. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for him, Greg. They really had to work for this win. That was a good point. I mean, weaker teams might have bucked we'll at the again. end with the crowd amped up, everyone in the building kind of rooting against you. But they stood tall and, and pulled it out. Well said.